Hello everyone, this is M. Allen West of FlashCadaver.com and today is a, I'm going to do a continuation of the Inkscape Dragon Bones tutorial. If you haven't watched part two, I suggest that you go over there and watch that. I've uh, already covered a lot of important topics which I'm going to skim over in this video. So if you haven't watched that one, go over and watch it. What we're going to start off with is um, we're actually going to do the bone structure on this character a little bit different than the previous one because I forgot to mention that you should actually have a pelvis bone so that the body can rotate without the legs moving. So from the bottom of the body of the character we're going to drag out a small bone and then that's it. Now from there we're going to drag up a longer bone that's going to extend the rest of the way across the body. Next we need to make a bone for the head so we're going to start at the base of the head and travel up to the top of the head. Next what we need to do is go back to the body layer, select the body bone, drag outward from one end of this arm to the other end of the arm, select this body bone again drag outward from the back of this arm all the way to the front of this arm. Now on the legs what we're going to do is we're going to select the pelvis bone and then we're going to drag down from the top of this leg to the bottom of this leg. Select the pelvis bone again, drag from the top of this leg down to the bottom of this leg. Control Z if you accidentally don't hit the leg exactly. You can tell if an object is selected because it'll have a blue line around it and now we have all the bones for the character and this bone if we hit the selection tool this bone down at the bottom here it looks like a dot that's actually the root bone and if you move that around it'll move the whole character so control Z to undo that next what we need to do is we need to lock every layer except for the eyebrow or the eyes and the uh, mouth layer. So we just want to, what we're locking is we're locking the actual drawing of the character. So select the legs, body, arms, and head and eyebrows. And you do this by holding control and left clicking. So now that we have all these selected, what we do is right click and click lock. Now I can't drag out any of these layers. The only layers I can actually drag out is the mouth and the eyes. And the reason and the bones as well. And the reason I wanted to do it this way is because um, I want to be able to swap through the different mouths and eyes I have when I get over to the animation. So we'll go over to the animation and on this animation we're going to go ahead and select the head bone and then we're p going to po pose but before we do any of this what I should mention is we're going to actually change this into a default layer so change this into a default layer and we're not going to mess with this layer we're going to actually duplicate this by cloning it so right click and clone and then we're going to change this one to an animation layer. And now we have this changed over to an animation layer. Now we can animate on this layer. Uh, basically the default layer will just continuously clone that when we need walk cycles and stuff. So we have the character in its original default position. So what we need to do is we need to select pose, select the bone, and then, oops, well, this is a mistake. As you can see, the actual head of the character is rotating, but the face, eyes, mouth, and eyebrows are staying put. So what we need to do is control Z this, go back over to your armature layer, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and unlock all this stuff. So unlock everything. And I did that by right-clicking, show and unlock all. What we need to do is actually select this eyebrow, right click on it, and then 
add it to a parent bone. So we'll set parent and then we'll select the head bone. Then we'll select the other eyebrow, right click on it, and then we'll go down to set parent and then select the bone. And we'll do this on everything, including the mouth and the eyes. So select the eyes, same thing, select the bone. And the mouth is being a little tricky to select. There we go. Sometimes you have to select something else and then go back and select it. So now we should have all of it partnered up together. Let's try this pose again and see what happens. Nope, we still don't have the eyes. So go ahead and select the eyes. Go back up to the selection tool. Right click. Set parent. Then select this bone. All right, now if we go up to pose, all of it should move together. And it does. Okay, Control-Z to undo that. Go back up to the animation layer. And I actually forgot to lock all this stuff out again. <laughs> Hold down Control and select everything except for the mouth and the eyes. Right click, lock. There we go. Now we'll go over to the animation layer. Now that we're on the animation layer, we can use the right mouse button to drag around. Go over here to pose, select the bone, rotate it over this way so that the head's slightly rotated. Then go to line 20, and basically by left clicking on the timeline. And then rotate the head the other direction. Now if we hit play, what's going to happen is you're going to see some jerky motion, which I didn't show how to fix in the previous video. So we click play. That doesn't quite look right. So what we want to do is we want to copy this. So Copy this first frame by selecting it by left clicking and then click copy and then go to frame 20 or 20 more frames to tw frame 40 and then right click and paste. So now if we click play we'll have a smooth transition of the character's head moving back and forth. Now we're going to do the eyes animating. So in this position, we want the eyes to be open at frame, let's say 16, we're going to close the eyes. So we want to go over to the selection tool, select the eyes, and then right click and swap display. And then we're going to go to about, well, let's play this to see what it looks like. That's not too bad. So we might want to open up the eyes about, I want to say 32, and we'll go we can either select it from over here or we can also go over in the sidebar over here. So now if we click play, let's see what we got. We'll do the same thing with the mouth, just for the heck of it. So when the eyes start to close, we'll say right before they close. We're going to swap the mouth out to mouth 2. And then right after they open one frame, 
two frames, one frame after, we're going to open the mouth again. So now let's click play and see what we've got. All right, so that's a simple animation, just of the head nod and eyes blinking, mouth opening, nothing too big. And we can also, if we want to, we can make the body of the character sway back and forth. So as it's tilting this way, maybe we might want to make the body tilt just a little bit. So let's go ahead and write this, take this back to straight up and down. And there's going to just be a lot of tinkering with this. There's no exact rule to what you can do with this. All right, let's see what this looks like. So now he's sort of swaying back and forth. If you had the character like dancing to music or whatever. And you can animate the arms and uh, you can make it so that whenever his eyes are down in this position, you could actually uh, animate the eyebrows, which I didn't put bones in the eyebrows. But if we wanted to, we could actually add bones to the eyebrows. I had planned it on a previous video, but then I decided against it. But you get the idea. You'd basically go through here and animate this character like this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of other settings in here that I'll probably mess around with. I might even make a part four, but it's getting late, so I better go to bed. Thanks a lot. Good night.